Mark. Power Guy Mark, thank you for the super chat, $20. Totally appreciate it. Uh, does it not partially defeat the purpose of running room correction to go back and change it to what you measure with the tape measure? So he's talking about distances? Yeah. yeah. I, 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 would, I would not change the distances. I think like that's probably one of the most accurate things that the AVR gets. Right. right? Like Distance. I, so it, it yeah. does time and level, right? I mean, it, it adjusts the level and the timing. Yeah, should, like, yeah. It should. Especially level, like, level. I, I say level and distance. So sometimes for subwoofers, this is my understanding. You know, visually, you're thinking, okay, my sub, this one subwoofer back here is, you know, six feet, but maybe Odyssey is measure or showing twelve feet. And my mm -hmm. understanding is it's trying to adjust for that timing, like what yeah. Aaron's talking yeah. about. Mm -hmm. So yeah. with you going back and changing it to the real feet. Now you've adjusted the timing of that, the time alignment. Now, now you've adjusted it off. Now it's yeah. off. Yeah. Now the yeah. base is going to hit off, right? Because those mm -hmm. uh, waves are uh, are a lot longer. So there's uh, there's an acoustic distance and correct. there's the physical distance. Correct. And so the acoustic distance a lot of times is thrown off by DSP because that adds a delay. And what your AVR is trying to do is it's trying to say, hey, there's a delay on the sub. That's the slowest one, right? That's the one that, that happens the least. So let's get everything in line with that right it's kind of like it reminds me of when you know when you're running and the slowest guy right mm -hmm. like everybody aligned to the slowest guy what i've never been the slowest know. guy ever yeah me neither man. slowest guy gets caught i refuse <laughs> to get caught <laughs> but yeah um it doesn't make sense i think it's it's funny when people try to say yeah just you know these these measurements are wrong because i measured with a tape measure i'm like no yeah. your your measurements are wrong yeah yeah, you're doing the wrong thing. Yeah. I mean, yeah, I, he, I used oh. to. Um, I I usually go in and check what to see what Odyssey's done with the crossovers, and I may readjust those if it chose to do something weird, like yeah. set my rear heights to large. Like, okay, yeah. <laughs> like that doesn't make sense. Yeah. So, so sometimes it does those weird kinds of things. And I, I think it's I, also it's also different in car audio because. Um, Aaron, I asked you one time when I was redoing my car, I'm like, should I just measure? And you're like, yeah, just do the measurement. And the difference is that the amplifier, I mean, basically you're not dealing with some that are passive and some that are amplified, right? Right. Mm -hmm. With a subwoofer, that thing is has DSP and the other stuff may not. It usually yeah, doesn't. That's a, that's a good point. You know, especially like if the DSP has a lot of built-in latency, you know, and it, it is a, like this fellow said down here, what is it? Uh... SVS has 5.5 milliseconds of delay, you know, so I don't know, you know, if that's all SVS or what, but yeah, if it has a DSP, it's going to have some degree of latency in it. So yeah, you have to figure that one out. Yep. And unless yeah. you have a means to measure electronically or you measure acoustically yourself, you kind of just have to trust the software and the Denons and things like that to get it right. Yeah, it does a good job. I mean, that's pretty simple. That's a simple measurement. <laughs>